Hey everybody, how's it going? Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be talking about the 1938D Penny Worth Money. Now this is definitely one that you're going to want to be looking for, um, but the way that it works is that most of these are only worth a few cents, um, but a select number of them, because of a small abnormality or what we call a variety, are going to be worth way more than that. And the reason is that there was a little mess up in the process of minting these coins, uh, really before they were actually striking them, but we're not going to get into that. I'll just show you where on this coin you're going to want to look for these errors. After that, I'll show you super close up magnified photos so you know just what it will look like as well as uh, conditions, um, different prices based off of the condition if it's been worn or if it's really sharp, um, what you can expect to get uh, beyond you know the few cents that the average wheat penny is going to command. And here we've got the 1938D Lincoln Wheat Penny, and you're going to want to look closely at the mint mark um, because some of them are going to be repunched, and that will be relatively clear if it is the case. Um, but I'll show you just what I'm talking about with the PowerPoint presentation as well as the values. Definitely a good one to be on the lookout for. And here we've got our repunched mint mark on the 1938D Lincoln Cent, and as you can see, it's protruding primarily to the west of the main D mint mark. When they repunched it, that means that they originally punched it. It didn't quite take, so they had to punch it again, and this is the result. Um, this is not uh, super, super rare, um, but it's not easy to find either, obviously. Um, the values are not exponentially high, though. As you can see, about 75 bucks for an AU50, and these are PCGS graded generally. Um, Mint State 63 is trading around 120 bucks. And Mint State 65 Red is like a $200 coin. So there's certainly been some good price movement up on these over the years. But again, these are for graded coins. Um, so if you've got one raw, you know, it'll either be like 40 bucks to grade or, um, you know, a, a little bit less in terms of the valuation. But certainly a cool one. Make sure to take a second look at any graded 1938Ds that you see. I always recommend that strategy as well. And best wishes to find this coin. Thanks for watching the video. I encourage you to like, comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel and connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I also have a website, treasuretownyt.com, where you should go so that you can learn more about coins as well as what's happening on the channel and possibly find a place to sell your coins and collectibles. I also want to talk about some of my other projects like coinmeltprice.com, which shows precious metals prices as well as the melt values of coins containing those precious metals, both U.S. and world. I also have coinsmetalscards.com, which will develop into a full marketplace, as well as a news source for coins, metals, cards, as the name might suggest. And then treasuretowncoins.com, which long term will be my coin dealing entity separate from the channel. And lastly, whatsthegrade.com, which will be a stickering service for already certified collectibles where you can get a approval or verification of the grade on the holder. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you on some of my other videos.